Uh, so Sydney, thank you so much for joining me. I know this is during, uh, or right before, as we're taping this, right before the NCAA tournament is about to begin. So I know as a coach, you are knee deep knee deep rather in the thick of it. So I want to start by asking you a question that I ask every guest that appears on the podcast. Uh, when did you become unbothered? <laughs> the day I was born, actually. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. She's like, uh, I'm, I'm unbothered by blood. Not yeah. Really okay, yeah. I mean, I think I was born into unbotheredness, honestly, just because, you know, I had a mom that raised me to be independent and to be confident um, and to be myself. She taught me that I, I'm all I got at the end of the day and family's all you got at the end of the day. Um, but I've just never been somebody that has truly cared uh, about what people think or say about me because in in high school you know girls talk and they they want your boyfriend in, in high school and everything and so you know that it's always been a thing where people have always not liked something about me and I'm pretty sure everybody can say that but it's it's been my whole life so no wonder you handled everything so gracefully because uh, for people who are unaware Sydney found herself in the middle of a controversy that should not have been a controversy at all based off an outfit choice that you wore. I believe it was uh, you guys' game against Kentucky, correct? Yes. Uh, which, um, you know, I guess shout out to them for winning the SEC um, recently. But you posted a picture of yourself wearing some, what I thought to be wonderful pink leather pants, a white turtleneck, these gorgeous heels. You look great in my opinion, but a man named Wayne Walker posted what you wore on social media and asked people if your outfit was appropriate because clearly he did not think that it was. Um, now the pink, correct me if I'm wrong, was related to breast cancer awareness. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. So you were wearing the pink for a good cause, number one. Mm -hmm. um, but then there was this great debate about what is appropriate for women to wear, particularly one that's in the position of being a coach uh, of young women. So how did you learn that there was a debate about your outfit going on on social media? Um, so, well, I got onto Instagram just like I normally did. I mean, like I said, a lot of times, this is something that I have always done. I've always posted my outfits and I've never done it for attention or anything like that. I just did it because I like to, I like to dress. Um, so I posted my photo and then a couple of days later, I'm starting to see my Instagram followers and everything is just doing numbers. And so I'm like, what is going on? And then I don't have a Facebook. So my family's like, well, this guy has posted this and they sent a screenshot in our family chat. And so that's when I learned like, okay, it's going viral. Um, and then after, after I saw it that day, this may have been like maybe two days later, a day and a half later. And then after that, it really took off where like my DMs are going crazy where people are like, I want to do an interview. I want to do this. I want to, you know, like people are just reaching out by the numbers. And so I was just shocked that it took off like that because I'm like, I didn't do anything wrong. Like, what is this even a discussion about? I mean, the way that some people were behaving, they acted like you came to the sideline dressed like, you know, you going to a, a club in Miami. And it's like, it wasn't even I mean, it, that serious. <laughs> I don't, I, I'll just put it out there. I'm not wearing that to the club. So there's that, but I mean. <laughs> Nobody wears a turtleneck to the club. To the club. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to burn up in there. But yeah, yeah, it was, I mean, I, they, when I did the Good Morning America, they had told me some of the stuff that people had said because I made sure that I didn't pay attention to the negative comments uh, because I've always heard celebrities say, I stay sane by staying out of the comments. Um, and so that's how big it got so quickly. So I stayed out of the comments, but I saw stuff like, she looks like she's going to the club or she needs to be fined or she's not gonna get respected. And I'm just like, okay. I guess you guys. <laughs> I guess you guys know it all at this point. So, well, maybe not in a uh, in this viral of a fashion. But have you ever something you've worn ever drawn you know some attention? Because I, based off your Instagram feed, like you're very stylish. Like I mean, you, you can dress this. You can dress. <laughs> Thank you. So ha have your have your outfits ever created any kind of conversation at all? Not on social media. Um, okay. So when I wore, I wore a green houndstooth print pantsuit top and bottom to our South Carolina game. I think it was game 16 on my Instagram, but I had so many 
people coming up to me just before the game even started because I typically walk out to do you know my whole deal before the game and I had people come up to me like girl where'd you get that suit from I, I need the, I need the answers on that so I've gotten stuff like at games we've played people have always asked me but never anything like this where it's gone to a point where people felt like they could give their opinion on it or or post questions about what I'm wearing I've never gotten that well, I know you tried to stay out of the comments, but uh, I got all in the comments and I couldn't help <laughs> notice that one of the comments came from Nicki Minaj. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so how did that feel to see somebody obviously of her level of fame suddenly drawn to your story? Um, I mean, at first, I, I my comments were going so crazy that I missed somebody actually posted it on their story and sent it to me in a DM. And so I'm like, oh, I gotta hurry up and go to my Instagram so I can pin this, I don't wanna miss this. Um, so I went to it and it just, it warmed my heart just because Nicki Minaj has always been one of my favorites. I've been a Nicki fan. I've been a Barb, whatever you wanna call it for the longest, you know, since she was underground. Um, so to see her speak out and we kind of have the same, like she's, she thrives off of confidence. She doesn't care what people think. You know, she kind of has the same stance that I have you know, on just being unapologetically myself. So to see her actually stand up and say something, and it, it was, I mean, it's not a small thing for her to come and to come to my page and comment, but she didn't have to. And so that's the biggest thing for me is that a lot of people that have had my back and supported me didn't have to say anything and they did. So all of the support that I got, I knew that that's what I could give my energy to instead of giving it to the, the negative comments that, that people are gonna have regardless of what I have on or not. Yeah, so speaking of people who had your back, what what was the response from uh, your coach, Gary Blair, who you, you play for, and also the players, the, um, you know, the players on the team that look at you in, as an authority figure? Yeah, so Coach Blair, he's always told me from day one. I mean, I was posting, people don't realize, if you go to my Instagram, I was posting my outfits just even last year. Um, and so Coach Blair always tells me, you dress for success all the time. And he loves the way that I dress. Um, you know, he's never had a complaint. He's never said anything about, hey, don't like that outfit. He's always admired that I wear what I wear and I look nice in it because he appreciates somebody that likes to look nice because he is going to wear his pantsuit every game. He's going to have his tie on. Um, so he's always said whether the other coaches want to dress up or not, you make sure you wear what you want to wear. Um, so he told me that last year. And um, as far as our players go, I mean, every time I come out, they, they come around the corner before a game and they like, let me see what you got on. And they call me, they always say, look at the baddest. So, um, <laughs> so they, they're always hyping me up every game. They're always, um, you know, just looking forward to what I have on. And you'll see pictures there like bowing down to me saying that I'm, I'm best dressed or, you know, so they, they love it because they can relate to that. Um, you know, I'm still young at the end of the day, so they can relate to my sense of fashion and, you know, they, they enjoy having somebody that they can directly relate to that, that had, they, they, you know, they, they want to dress, some of them want to dress like me. Um, so I got obviously good feedback from our AD, uh, Ross Bjork, that's here. Um, our SWA, Kristen Brown, they, they've always told me how nice that they think I dress. So, I mean, it's been a year long thing of support from my university. So that's why it didn't bother me. <laughs> so, um, you know, the, the, the major question is, has this led to a clothing deal? I know you're really into this, <laughs> but like, Somebody got to put you on now. <laughs> I mean, I hope it does. I've had a lot of people reach out, send stuff my way. Um, you know, I've had from sunglasses to pantsuits um, to custom made um, like blazers. Uh, so a lot of people have sent me things, but it, it hasn't led to a deal yet. But I'm hoping, you know, somebody like Adidas or something reaches out because even in practice, um, you know, before the season even started, some of them would be like, you so extra because I would wear a pink skirt to practice with some colorful shoes, ruffled socks, like, and everything is just Adidas down. Um, so I'm hoping Adidas sees this and calls me. <laughs> put her on Adidas. 